Welcome to the section on plant adaptations to cold environments. In this section, we'll explore how plants survive in environments with low temperatures, including high altitude environments, polar regions, and areas with cold winters. Plants have evolved various mechanisms to adapt to cold temperatures. One such mechanism is dormancy, where plants become dormant during the winter months to conserve energy and protect themselves from the cold. Another mechanism is resistance to freezing, where plants produce chemicals that lower the freezing point of their cells, or they have specialized tissues that protect them from ice crystal formation. Plants in cold environments also have thick bark that provides insulation from the cold. They may also have specialized tissues that store carbohydrates and proteins, which they can use as energy sources during the winter months. Now, let's take a look at some specific examples of plants that have adapted to cold environments. Welcome to the section on plant adaptations to cold environments. In this section, we'll explore how plants survive in environments with low temperatures, including high altitude environments, polar regions, and areas with cold winters. Plants have evolved various mechanisms to adapt to cold temperatures. One such mechanism is dormancy, where plants become dormant during the winter months to conserve energy and protect themselves from the cold. Another mechanism is resistance to freezing, where plants produce chemicals that lower the freezing point of their cells, or they have specialized tissues that protect them from ice crystal formation. Plants in cold environments also have thick bark that provides insulation from the cold. They may also have specialized tissues that store carbohydrates and proteins, which they can use as energy sources during the winter months. Now, let's take a look at some specific examples of plants that have adapted to cold environments. Welcome to the section on plant adaptations to cold environments. In this section, we'll explore how plants survive in environments with low temperatures, including high altitude environments, polar regions, and areas with cold winters. Plants have evolved various mechanisms to adapt to cold temperatures. One such mechanism is dormancy, where plants become dormant during the winter months to conserve energy and protect themselves from the cold. Another mechanism is resistance to freezing, where plants produce chemicals that lower the freezing point of their cells, or they have specialized tissues that protect them from ice crystal formation. Plants in cold environments also have thick bark that provides insulation from the cold. They may also have specialized tissues that store carbohydrates and proteins, which they can use as energy sources during the winter months. Now, let's take a look at some specific examples of plants that have adapted to cold environments. One way plants have adapted to attract pollinators is through the use of bright colors. Many pollinators, such as bees and butterflies, are attracted to bright colors like red, orange, and yellow. These colors signal the presence of nectar and pollen, which are important sources of food for these insects. Flowers with bright colors also stand out against their surroundings, making them easier for pollinators to locate. Another way plants have adapted to attract pollinators is through the use of strong scents. Many flowers produce fragrant compounds that are attractive to pollinators like bees and moths. These scents can be especially important at night, when many pollinators are active. In addition to attracting pollinators, strong scents can also help to repel herbivores and predators. A third way plants have adapted to attract pollinators is through the use of unique shapes. Some flowers have evolved complex shapes that are specifically adapted to particular pollinators. For example, orchids often have intricate shapes that match the anatomy of specific bee species, ensuring that only those bees with the right body shape can access the nectar and pollen. Other flowers have evolved to resemble the insects themselves, using visual cues to trick the insects into attempting to mate with the flowers, thereby pollinating them. Overall, these adaptations to attract pollinators have co-evolved with the pollinators themselves, leading to a wide diversity of plant-pollinator interactions and ensuring the continued survival and reproduction of both plant and pollinator species. Explanation of coevolution with pollinators. The process of pollination involves a mutualistic relationship between plants and their pollinators, such as bees, butterflies, birds, and bats. Over time, Many plants have evolved adaptations to better attract and accommodate their specific pollinators. For example, flowers with bright colors like red, orange, and pink are often pollinated by birds, while those with more muted colors like white and yellow are often visited by bees and other insects. 
Flowers with strong scents may attract nocturnal pollinators like moths, while those with unique shapes like orchids may require specific types of pollinators with specialized mouthparts. This coevolution between plants and pollinators has resulted in an incredible diversity of flower shapes, colors, and fragrances, all adapted to ensure successful pollination and reproduction. Now that we've explored how plants have adapted to attract pollinators, let's move on to another important adaptation. How they defend themselves against herbivores. Herbivora is the act of animals feeding on plants, which can be a major threat to the survival and reproduction of plants. However, many plants have evolved adaptations to deter herbivores and protect themselves from damage. One of the most common adaptations is the development of spines, thorns, or prickles, which make it difficult for animals to consume the plant material. Other plants produce a wide range of chemicals that can be toxic or unpalatable to herbivores, including alkaloids and other compounds. Some plants have even evolved to mimic the appearance of other plants that are toxic or unpalatable to herbivores, which can trick them into avoiding the plant altogether. This ongoing battle between plants and herbivores has led to a long history of coevolution, with each side evolving strategies to counter the other's adaptations. Herbivora is the act of animals feeding on plants, which can be a major threat to the survival and reproduction of plants. However, many plants have evolved adaptations to deter herbivores and protect themselves from damage. One of the most common adaptations is the development of spines, thorns, or prickles, which make it difficult for animals to consume the plant material. Other plants produce a wide range of chemicals that can be toxic or unpalatable to herbivores, including alkaloids and other compounds. Some plants have even evolved to mimic the appearance of other plants that are toxic or unpalatable to herbivores, which can trick them into avoiding the plant altogether. This ongoing battle between plants and herbivores has led to a long history of coevolution, with each side evolving strategies to counter the other's adaptations. Ethnobotany and Human Uses of Plants Plants have been an integral part of human history, serving not only as a source of food and medicine but also as cultural symbols and spiritual tools. Ethnobotany is the study of how different cultures have used plants throughout history, and it reveals the incredible diversity of human-plant interactions. For example, Native American tribes used the bark of the white willow tree to relieve pain and fever, and this led to the development of aspirin, a commonly used medication today. The leaves of the coca plant have been used for centuries by indigenous people in South America as a stimulant and for medicinal purposes, and this led to the development of cocaine, a highly addictive and illegal drug. Plants have also played an important role in cultural practices, such as the use of sacred plants like ayahuasca in shamanic ceremonies in the Amazon rainforest. The lotus flower has been a symbol of purity and enlightenment in Buddhist and Hindu cultures for thousands of years. Today, many plant species are under threat due to habitat loss, climate change, and over-harvesting. It is important to understand the cultural and ecological significance of plants and work towards conservation efforts to protect them for future generations. In conclusion, the study of plant adaptations reveals the incredible diversity of life on Earth and the fascinating ways in which plants have evolved to survive in different environments. Understanding these adaptations not only deepens our appreciation for the natural world but also provides important insights into the ways in which we can work towards a more sustainable future. Throughout this presentation, we have explored various adaptations that plants have developed to survive and thrive in different environments. We started with adaptations to arid environments, where plants like succulents and cacti have thick, fleshy stems and leaves, reduced leaf surface area, and extensive root systems to conserve water. We then moved on to adaptations to aquatic environments, where plants like water lilies and algae have developed flotation devices, flexible stems and leaves, and specialized root systems to anchor themselves in place. We also discussed adaptations to cold environments, where plants like evergreen trees, arctic mosses, and alpine wildflowers have developed dormancy, resistance to freezing, and thick bark and insulation. Finally, we explored adaptations to pollinator attraction, where plants like flowers with bright colors, strong scents, and unique shapes have evolved to attract pollinators and ensure their reproduction. The adaptations that plants have developed are critical for their survival and evolution. They allow plants to live in environments that would otherwise be inhospitable and to compete with other organisms for resources. 
Additionally, these adaptations have led to the diversification of plant species and have contributed to the evolution of entire ecosystems. Without plant adaptations, the world as we know it would be vastly different, and many species would not exist. As we continue to face environmental challenges such as climate change and habitat destruction, it is more important than ever to understand and appreciate the adaptations that plants have developed. By recognizing the beauty and complexity of these adaptations, we can better understand the role that plants play in our world and the importance of protecting and preserving their habitats. Let us all take action to protect and conserve the world's plants and the environments they inhabit.